Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of ADHD with Fabu. Today, I'll be talking about how the game Animal Crossing helps me with my ADHD. First off, I want to clarify, I'm clearly not a doctor, obviously, so any and all information has come from my research and my experiences. Because yes, I have ADHD and I'm proud of it. Animal Crossing is a game that many people love and adore. Us ADHDers tend to think outside the box and ask questions others normally don't. While some ask questions like what does my villager need or want, I'm here asking myself how is Animal Crossing good for us ADHDers? Through these difficult times, we sometimes need a game to help us when we are feeling depressed or anxious. That's just all positive energy and relaxing. And the only game that screams to me is, you guessed it, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is loved by many gamers for its positivity, relaxing environment, surprises, and never knowing what will happen next. Social interactions and our dream world. Let's move on to the perks of Animal Crossing. Number one, positivity and environment. Positivity comes in many different ways in this game. For one, fishing and grinding for the biggest fish might make them feel warm and happy and give them a purpose. Or for someone else, getting all the fashionable outfits or even getting the cutest villager. That's me, actually. The environment is chill, like when you are on the beach, it could be someone's dream. Or living beside the ocean, which they can recreate on Animal Crossing. Every time I get in the game, I feel warm and cozy. This game would go lovely with some hot chocolate. Wait, I just thought of something. This game would go perfectly to snuggle under a blanket and drink some hot cocoa. I'm gonna do that next time. Two, never know what's next. When I see a balloon floating in the air, I just can't help but wonder what's inside. And that's what is awesome about this game, is that everything is a mystery. Like when you go into the furniture shop, it's different every time, as well as with the fashion shop. I'm going to share with you a little secret. My brain is in love every time I go into the fashion store or furniture store. I see everything is different. And for us ages years, we need to keep engage with the game to continue playing or else it becomes boring and we drop in never knowing what's next helps us keep us engaged that's how our brain work number three social interaction us eight age years need to take advantage of every opportunity we get to socialize this game is multiplayer and allows you to interact with friends that you may know in person or just online and have the game you could interact in each other's island and having the love of this game in common helps break the ice for some good conversations. Number four, our world. I saved the most meaningful one to me for last. After a stressful day at school, I would love to relax and chill on a beach in Hawaii, but I'm nowhere near Hawaii. So Animal Crossing is my best option where I could design a perfect world for me, a safe place to relax or fish. And in this game, you can play role play. As a person with ADHD, I need a game that is engaging and holds my attention, provides me opportunities to socialize, as well as helps me relax and chill after a long day. Animal Crossing has all of this. A plus on Animal Crossing. Tell me in the comments below if you play Animal Crossing and if it helps you as much as it helped me. Maybe we could play together. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to turn on that notification bell. I have to see you in my next video of ADHD with Fabu. In the meantime, for more information about me and my learning disabilities, please check out my website, fallrocks.com. For more content, check out my podcast at fallrockspodcast.com, where I'm the host currently interviewing my parents and guests with ADHD and other disabilities where we talk about how we use gaming as a tool to manage and overcome our disabilities. And like always, just be yourself, because that is Fallicious. Bye!